As the weather heats up and more people head to the water to cool off, health officials in Mississippi say they've already seen seven cases of flesh-eating bacteria. Joining us now with more on what Vibrio vulnificus is and how you can avoid it is Dr. Andrew Siegel. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Once you get past saying it, you know how dangerous it is, right? It's very dangerous. Well, yes. tell, first of all, tell us what it is. So Vibrio vulnificus is a uh, bacteria. Some people refer to it as a flesh-eating bacteria. It's a bacteria that's present in the warmer coastal waters off the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and as you know, people in Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, they can all be uh, accept acceptable to it. Mm -hmm. It's most common uh, between the months of May and October. Um, it's found in the brackish waters, the salty waters, and it's found in our oysters as well. Okay, so who's most at risk for this? And then we'll talk about how to avoid it. So almost anybody can get Vibrio uh, vulnificus infection. Most people end up with uh, watery diarrhea, mm -hmm. but the people who are most susceptible and it's most fatal to are people who are immunocompromised and people with liver disease, and there are several other diseases out there um, that, and people who are, and pregnant women also are susceptible as well. Okay, so you're in a boat, you see these people playing in the water, it's a fun summer time, you're in a boat, you fall into the water, uh, maybe you don't you're not affected by it if it's in the, that water, but if you have maybe an open cut or what other condition? So if you have an open cut, again, if you're immunocompromised, mm -hmm. um, um, liver disease, either cirrhosis, hepatitis yeah. C, something, liver cancer, or if you're a transplant, uh, somebody who's received a transplant, um, you need to get out of the water fast, you need to wash it off thoroughly, and you should probably seek medical attention quickly. So how does this present on a person? I mean, you, like you said, it could have, you could have diarrhea, mm -hmm. but are there any other visible symptoms that you may have? So some people can start off with a small cellulitis that grows extremely rapidly. Um, some people all of a sudden can get these, what they're referred to as bullous lesions, where they're kind of, um, and their foot just, or their, their uh, skin doesn't look just right. Um, it's usually a very, very severe cellulitis that they tend to get. So when you say cellulitis, like a red spot? Uh, like a red or spot, yeah. Like a pussy infection. kind of yeah. opening? Exactly. It's not yeah. pretty. It's not pretty. So if you yeah. have something that looks unusual and you know you usually don't have uh, skin problems, it could be a sign that you've got it. Mm -hmm. So it's treatable, right? Um, yes. So the watery, if you, ha if you are immunocompetent and you've been eating the oysters and you get the watery diarrhea, um, what they say is it's, it usually is self-limited within mm -hmm. three days. However, if you have the cellulitis, you need to seek immediate medical attention because you'll most likely be on antibiotics. All right. So watch out for that this summer. Dr. Andrew Siegel, thanks for giving us Thank the you. tips. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.